What is up everyone, Barricade here, and I'm bringing you guys part 8 of my Resident Evil Zero walkthrough. Well, actually, before we do anything else, let's leave this. Uh, okay, wait a second. Shit, I'm still hurt. Um, hmm. Don't really need this at the moment. Uh, I could give him... Oh, no. Give him that. She. Wait, who am I playing? Oh, okay, for a second I thought I was still playing as him. Uh, she can take those. Grenade launcher. Because she has ammo for it. Okay. I'm gonna keep playing as him. But. Okay. Okay, so the next best step, I'm trying to remember how we went about it. <sighs> Where is it exactly? Oh, I remember now. We go this way. Because where I'm trying to go is that we have the, uh, we have the clock hand, which is something we need to use. Oh god, that scared me. Stupid music. So we need to use the clock hand. Shit, he's still hurt, man. I need herbs. That's why I'm playing as him, actually, so I can maneuver him better. It's because it seems like, also, like, whenever I'm playing as one of the other characters, it seems like the damn enemies always go after... after the damn bot. Like, they always go after my partner. So if I play as her, they're just gonna go straight to him. So I might as well play as him, so they... W Go after her, and she won't be hurt as bad. Okay. It's a solid, solidly built clock. The minute hand is missing from the dial, which I believe I have. I knew it. Okay. Uh. Shoot. Doesn't give me a hint, huh? Okay, you know what? I think I know what I need to do. I think I know what I need to do. Basically... There was a door that had key hands on it. I know that to be a fact. Or not key hands, clock hands. Stupid birds. I'm trying to remember where the hell that door was. I think the door was where I fought the leech man for the first time. And I think that's what it is. It's The door has... Uh, like clock hands on it, so I need to see what they say to better determine, you know, like to basically what I think it is is you put the clock to the specific time that's on the door and it opens the door. I think that's what it is. Something like that. I remember this game being so oddly specific like that. Like you had to do things like that. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play as her and I'm gonna tell him to just chill. Stay here. Okay. Cause he's hurt. And all I need to do is simply run down the hall, look at the clock hands, and then run back. So if a leech guy pops out, I can just run past him. Oh god, it's just leeches. Okay. So it's not leech guy, but just leech. Leech is. Okay, so for what it looks like. Ah, oh, get off me! It looks like it's set to about... Okay, I can see it. I, I mean, it's kind of weird. But it looks like it's about, like... 1240... 1240 or something? That's what it looks like the clock hands are set to. Let's go. Yeah. So that's pretty much what I think it is. I mean, that's such a stupid way to solve a puzzle, though, because the game doesn't even give you any hints about it. 
It's basic, basically just said that it's set. Oh, wait. I remember. Wait a second. Wait a second. Files. Uh, no, no, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. There was something, I remember something about a time. It was like, I think it was like 8.15 or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah, it has to be something like that. That actually sounds, oh no, but that wouldn't make sense unless it was 8.45. I don't know, we'll look. But I remember the placement of the hands, it looked... Looks something like that. Remember the file saying something like that. Ah, oh, get out of here. Okay. Yeah, remember being it looked like it's eight. So that means it would have to move the hour hand, right? Yeah, see, 8 is right there, and that's where it looked like. So it's 8. It's 8 something. 8.15. Let's just go all the way around. I think it was. Looked like it said 8 o'clock. No? No. Damn. The hell was it? Oh! Okay, yeah, 8.15. Okay, I was right. That was totally... Okay, so yeah, the, the hand was different on the door, but... Yeah, I was right, 8.15. Oh, nice. Nice. Damn. The only thing I worry about now is usually with Resident Evil, the second you freaking solve something, you freaking get attacked by a billion enemies. That's how Resident Evil works. So now I'm worried that if I go in there as him, maybe I shouldn't even send him in. Maybe I should only send her in since she has the grenade launcher. And then we'll go from there. Yeah, because I remember seeing something like that. A piece of paper that said something about 8.15, 8 o'clock. That was hilarious. That was completely, like... I, I remembered it subconsciously, but I didn't... Like, I didn't remember exactly. Like, I actually thought I was done at that point. I was like, ah. I guess I didn't know it. And then it's freaking ends up being right. Okay. So what I'm going to do... So I'm just gonna send her in by herself. I'll go. Yeah. Cause he's hurt. She has pistol ammo, she has a grenade launcher, she has all that crap. So she can go in there and handle it herself. And if I find health, I'll get him and have him come over, but fucking leeches. Okay, there's zombies. That's I auto aim at him if the ones in front of me. Okay, god damn. Oh god, that bullet missed. Are you kidding me? Fuck. I don't really want to waste a grenade launcher. Oh, okay, good. There you go. Yeah, see, what's the point of wasting a grenade launcher and I can... 
And I found the thing. Yay. Okay, so it's a projector. It's a microfilm projector. If you had a microfilm, you could see it on screen. Okay. So I'm going to switch to him, actually. And grab the microfilm and go over there. Because besides the leeches, there isn't anything else I need to really worry about. So it should be fine for him to come. I just want to see, you know. I just wish he wasn't so hurt. That's the thing that's messing me up so bad right now is that he's so hurt. Like, if he wasn't hurt, it wouldn't matter. None of this would matter, but... It's just because he's so hurt, I don't, I'd, like, worry about even freaking him along anywhere. Okay. Let's see, Marco film. Let's regroup. Roger. Oh, damn it. Uh, I will never get over that, will I? Keep hitting the wrong button. Okay. It's a picture of the room somewhere. That's it? I don't have anywhere else. So, but it looks like there's two slots. See how one is green and one is red? So I'm guessing there's something else I need. There's something more to this. That I'm not quite getting. So, for now, let's go back and go check that other room that opened up because of the key. Or I keep saying key, clock. Something else that opened due to the clock hand. I believe one of the doors up here did. Okay. I think it was over here. Yeah, it was this door. Oh, zombies. I don't really want to use him. Oh, shit. Um, fuck it. The only thing is if I use him... He'll attack, so let's just put him on idle and then she's her. Back away. Oh god. Oh my god, I was so close to that one. I think that's it, yeah. There's no more zombies. Okay. A verse of poetry. The moon bows to the earth. The earth swears loyalty to the sun. And the great law of the sun governs all things. This itself is the keystone. The pointer of glory. All our hands cannot open the door to the heavens. All our hands cannot open the door to the heaven. Huh. That means something. I know it does. Ooh, shotgun ammo. Sweet. Oh, another microfilm. Oh, nope, grab the damp. I don't want to look at that. Okay. Nice. Okay, see? I knew it. There was another microfilm that we needed. Dark expanse of trees. That's it. Nothing else. No ammo, no health. Well, we got shotgun ammo, but I mean nothing else. Move, move, move. Hmm. That's it. Wow. Okay. I was hoping there would be something else besides just ammo. Whatever. But at least now we got that second microfilm, so we at least know what that will hopefully give us something more of an insight than just looking at the picture of that one room. Someone sent me a message. I'll worry about that later.
Falcon leeches. Maybe I should play him. Maybe I should play as him so he doesn't. Because, yes, yeah, I think he'll slow down too much. <gasps> he might get attacked by the leeches. Like, no. Okay. Oh, that scared me. That sound scared me. I thought it was like another zombie or something. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A, B, C, D, E, F. There's something written on the bottom, on top of the picture, the seats. Oh, a thing came out. Modisk. Okay. Microfilm image. So basically, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and A, B, C, D, E, F. Microfilm image. A image resulting from overlaying microfilms A and B. Numbers appear on the seats of the conference room. God, stand puzzles. Okay. Well I got the Mo disc. That's what all I needed, right? Okay, as long as I got the Mo disc, because I do not want to have to run back over here. Oh I thought I was playing as him, what the hell? Okay. Let's go back this way. Yeah, I'm kind of running a little. This video's been running a little long, about 17 minutes. It's okay though. Let's make an extra long video this time. Hopefully, yeah, I'll probably end it after I solve whatever this puzzle is. Damn it, I needed. Yeah, I was too far away from her. Move, 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 move. Insert system disk. System disk needed to activate system. Use the disk. Now loading. Complete. Access complete. Release system activated. Please enter the passcode. Encode 0A. 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 Wait. <sighs> there is no 0 though. Oh, there is. 0. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, I, I could have sworn there wasn't a 0, but I guess there's still zeros right here. And then I think A. Oh shit, okay, I get it. Um I'll go. Yeah. Basically you have to do it close at a time. So basically zero. A. What did that do? Oh nice. Oh, um, a third pair? I don't remember there being a third pair. Crazy. Okay. Well, that basically helped us get past that part. Yeah. Alrighty. I think that would be the perfect spot to end the video. Got that puzzle solved. And now the next thing we're going to do is find out what's actually beyond those doors with the swords. So actually, before I do that, let me give him the shotgun ammo because he's going to need it. And then we're going to go from there. But I'm going to stop the video for now. So if you guys like this video, please definitely hit that like button, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think about Resident Evil Zero. Loving this game. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and take it easy.